Hi everybody, all those night owls. April has been a very moody month, but today was a perfect April day. From start to finish, our lows were spot on, our daytime highs were spot on, and we had those clouds that did clear out. Yesterday was messy with all that rain. Today, rain free. We just waited for those clouds to mix out and then we were good. We had nice clear skies and that is the case for tonight. So right now, our temperatures are anywhere from the upper 50s, lower 60s, and even close to some mid 60s as you head down towards areas like Lufkin. They're sitting at 64 and Groveton too. Uh, so not a bad night. Some areas cooler than others. That system that brought all that rain yesterday now moved way beyond our area. It's bringing some trouble towards the Carolinas. Georgia, we no longer have to worry about it. You may be uh, looking out around Colorado and saying, is that on its way to us? Not quite yet. We do have a few dry days here. I'll show you what's going on. We have a ridge in our area, that cold front that sank through uh, yesterday brought all the rain and then today even we had those clouds left over and a northerly breeze that is now down to the south below our area so again we don't have to worry about it we have a ridge in our region the ridge is keeping us nice and dry and it is a flatter ridge uh, whenever we have dramatic uh, changes in the jet stream is usually when we have windy conditions, which we did have last week. We had a trough move through our area, and some of those days were quite windy. And of course, then we had some rain too. So we're remaining pretty quiet here over the next 24, even 48 hours, but those clouds will start to increase as we head towards the start of our work week. Tonight's lows. Now, since we do have those clear skies, you know how it goes. Under clear skies, all of that heat that we got during the day radiates back into the atmosphere. It's called radiational cooling and that's what we're dealing with for tonight. So temperatures will be slightly cooler than what they were for this morning. This morning's lows were in the mid-50s, which is an average mark. Tonight, some areas like Mount Pleasant, Gilmer, Linden, Jefferson falling into those low 50s overnight by Sunday morning. But some of those deep east Texas counties, they'll be spot on in the mid-50s. Average low around 57, as you can see there in your corner. As we go into tomorrow, we will warm up. So a quick rebound here where we have bright blue skies on the way. And and wind turns a little bit, so the winds will change direction going for down from the north in the morning, and then they'll start coming in from the south-southeast. So that will also help our temperatures. A light breeze. Wind speeds tomorrow around 10 miles per hour, and that's about it. If that's, it'll be a pretty light breeze out there. Uh, future skycast, here we are tomorrow afternoon. I did fast forward this because not much is happening in the morning. We have clear skies basically from start to finish. 80 degree temperatures for the daytime highs though. And again, that's because we are rain free, cloud free. And also we have that air coming in from the south. And then for Monday, those clouds begin to creep back in, but it's not until about Tuesday, Wednesday, where those rain chances start to return. Now, now, I do want to mention here towards the end of the week, around Thursday, Friday, Saturday, models are in a big disagreement. So take those days lightly. Right now, we want to focus on Tuesday, Wednesday, see if we can get any storms Wednesday. Then we'll see what happens towards the end of the week. This is brought to you by Baylor Scott & White. All right, Colleen.